Hello, Saka Fed. Hi, I'm Roma and welcome to my kitchen. Today I will be making for you a Dominican style sancoach. If you want to see how I make this recipe, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Now let's get cooking. So these are all the ingredients that we are going to use to make our sancoach. The exact amount will be listed in the description bar below. Fresh coconut milk, our salted codfish has been soaked and washed and ready for cooking. Onion and shallot, scotch bonnet pepper, garlic cloves, green seasoning, some curry powder, fresh thyme, scallions, carrot, tomato, red and green bell peppers. Before we start, we are going to cut all our onions and vegetables up and get them ready for cooking. First step, I'm going to take some of this ghee or clarified butter. So we want to take some of that. We just want enough to fry our onions and instead of oil. And now I'm going to put my onions in there. So we just want to leave that. I'm going to turn it up a bit. Hot. Now when you're making sancoach with the codfish, you want to make sure you soak that codfish really well. We are not pre-cooking it before we put it in the sauce. So make sure if you're going to cook it, you put it overnight and maybe halfway into the day and you can have it for dinner. Next thing, I'm just going to add my garlic. And you just want to stir it. Let them cook in a little. Then we can put our tomatoes in there. So I just have one tomato. So you want to cook your tomatoes, not overcook them, you just want to stir it in there with the onions. Next thing, we can put our, some thyme in there and curry powder. So I'm putting a little bit of curry powder, not too much. It really complements the cod really well, the curry. So you just want to put a little and let it just kind of roast the bed in there and then we're going to add our coconut milk okay so now I'm going to put the coconut milk now this I did use a fresh like fresh coconut and I did it in the um, blender it's already strained but you know sometimes you miss some pieces you can use um, canned coconut milk but to be authentic like real Dominican style, we always grate coconut, fresh coconut. Now, next step, I'm seasoning up. So I'm putting my green seasoning. Add that in. Give it a stir. I'm gonna add my codfish. So we just wanna put the codfish pieces in there. And you can see I use the boneless ones. We're not going to add any water to it because we already have the water from the coconut. Next step, we're going to put our veggies. So I'm going to put my carrots and peppers in there. I'm going to 
put that now with the hot pepper again we're gonna put it whole we don't cut it we don't just put it whole in there all you want is the flavor and then the green onions that goes on top that's it and then we're just gonna cover it and let it cook turn your heat down a little bit lower than a medium just enough to simmer should take about half an hour it's just sounding delicious sandwich is coming along okay guys so let's see now as you can see this is really boiling up and it sprouted a lot of liquid now what we want to do at this stage because coconut have a tendency to separate if you cook it covered for a long time i'm going to take the lid off and just let it finish cooking without the lid on it it's going to reduce the sauce is going to become nice and thick and you won't have the separation let's check this now okay this looks good see how much it's reduced and now we have just enough gravy when making sandwich if you wanted to put christophine um, papaya whatever you like it's up to you you can do whatever you want I like christophine or papaya this is done it looks beautiful it tastes really nice it's really good so I'm just going to turn it off and like I said it only took about half an hour the cutfish cooks really quick so you don't have to overcook look at that how delicious that looks nice thing with that too is you can eat it with anything you like uh, you can have it with dumplings we like dumplings bananas plantain dashin okay I can't wait to try this looks good it smells good Mm. it's good delicious and there you have it guys our delicious dominican style saltfish sandwich thank you for watching and we hope to see you again next time <laughs>